Welcome to the first week of the semi-finals in the National Premier League's IGA New South Wales Men's 1. In the elimination semi-final, Sydney Olympic will host Rockdale City Suns at Lambert Park. And in the major semi-final, Blacktown Spartans will host Blacktown City for the second week running at Blacktown Football Park. For your match highlights, let's go to our commentator, Adam Zanarossa. After 26 rounds of action, the Premiership was decided in the final seconds. We arrive now at the business end of the season and it's finals time. The championship's on the line and no doubt more drama awaits. The Premier's Bonnyrigg have the week off, but they'll be keeping an eye on things as Blacktown Spartans meet Blacktown City FC to win a meeting them next weekend. Plus Sydney Olympic and Rockdale City play for their lives with the loser eliminated. It's football at its best. This is the IGA National Premier League's New South Wales Men's One. Rockdale meets Sydney Olympic in the first of our finals, with this one do or die for both teams with the loser eliminated. Rockdale City FC went on a storied run last season from a similar position, culminating in a grand final appearance against Bonnyrigg. But to repeat that performance, they'll have to get past an impressive Sydney Olympic side. They're finding form at the right time of year, and with the likes of Dimitri Hatsimaratis banging in the goals, they'll be hard to stop. Let's go to Lambert Park now for all the action. Taken quickly by Rockdale. Riyama plays it short. El Hafian, Simons. Simons will get it back. Now needs a good cross. Sends it in. Here's Minicon on the far post. Going to try it. Hooper's header can't clear. Still a danger. Oh, well, Simons. Oh, wasn't too far away. Sorge gets it back. He'll send it in. Gaitats has tried the spectacular overhead. It'll fall to Danaskos. He's going to try it. Oh, good save, Arkaba. Gaitatsis couldn't get on the follow-up. So now Rockdale. Got some numbers going forward. Read with it. Links up with Minicon. Minicon loses possession. Olympic. Can they break? He's Sorge overlapping. Gets it now. That's a strength from him. Cuts it back. And Olympic have a corner. So Gaitatsis. To send it in the mixer. Oh, Kier's there. It's 1-0. Sydney Olympic have the lead. And it's Ryan Kier. Well, they've had waves of pressure. And they finally get a result. As we look at the replay, you've got to be critical of Arkaba. He comes a long way and doesn't get there. And Kier just nods it into an empty net. Arkaba comes. And if you come, you've got to get... And he doesn't lay a hand on it, and Sydney Olympic have the lead. Oige with it now. He'll link up with Heeskith. Oige again. Olympic doing well for the moment. Oh, that's a good ball. Tineski. Tineski gets it back. Oh, he should score, Nikola Tineski. He doesn't. Henderson makes the save. And Yesich can't do enough on the follow-up. What a chance for Rockdale. Tineski, one-on-one, -on -one, and he should be scoring from there, and he knows it. I don't know why he chose that side, to be honest. Nice turn from Simons. Oh, they come clattering together. Referee says play on. Here's Sawida. Does well to get round Yesich. Still Sawida. Thought there was a tug of the shirt. Oh, doesn't he make Yesich look silly? Oh, here's a chance for Hatsi Maratis. Oige makes the challenge. It's fallen to Danaskos. It's 2-0. Sydney Olympic have their second. And it's a bitter blow for Rockdale. Oige made the challenge. Arkaba came again. Danaskos finds the empty net. Taken quickly by Sorge. Olympic looking for a third. Could just open up for them for the moment. Here's Michael Gaitatis. Should score. Oh, huge chance for Olympic. And it should have been three. Lafian takes it quickly. Here's Minicon. Good ball from him. Sends Tineski away. Got some work to do. Oh, Tineski. Henderson makes the save, but he can't the follow up. Marco Yesic pulls the goal back for Rockdale. And their season may yet have life. Good work from Tineski. Henderson made a fine save, but it just palmed it into the feet of Yesic. 
Yesic tucks it away. Rockdale pull a goal back. It's 2-1 here at Lambert Park. They'll know they're fastly running out of time. Still, what can they muster here? They know they need a goal. Reed with it. Nice turn from him. Links up with Murayama. Sends it in the mixer. Oh, it's fallen to Yesich. Huge chance for Rockdale. Henderson makes a great save. Edge of seat stuff at the moment. Can Olympic go down and have a third here? Hatsi Maratis. The danger over. Uh, Carver makes the save. And that is it. Rockdale's season is over. Full time here at Lambert Park. Sydney Olympic have hung on. It's finished Sydney Olympic 2, Rockdale 1. And we saw a fairy tale run from Rockdale last year. They went all the way to the grand final. It won't be the case in 2014 as they wave goodbye. Sydney Olympic, well, they're a dark horse this season. They await the loser of the Blacktown Spartans. Blacktown City FC clash tomorrow. And who knows, could they go on a storied run and go all the way to the final? That's everything tonight here at Lambert Park. It's finished Sydney Olympic 2, Rockdale 1. Uh, Sean Simmons, obviously uh, disappointing to go out like that, but you guys gave it a real shot in the second half. Yeah, I thought we definitely picked it up in the second half a lot better. The first half was very poor from us, you know. Still had our chances, but we didn't take any of them. So, yeah. Is that what it boils down to in these big knockout games, just simply taking your chances? Yeah, I definitely think so. I think I had a chance, and Nicky had a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Marco had one that he missed. You know, we had our chances today to win the game, but we just didn't take them, so that's what happens. You guys changed the system in the second half and really, really pushed for the, uh, for the couple of goals. Once you got one back, did you feel like the second one was coming? Yeah, definitely. I thought we were going to win the game, actually. I didn't think we were even going to get a draw. I thought we'd win, but in the end, we didn't. Congrats to the Olympic. City Olympic keeper Paul Henderson, you live to fight another day, but you really are under the pump there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, we always knew Rockdale were going to come at us. You know, 2 0 is always a uh, very difficult uh, score. Um, you know, we had a chance to make it three, unfortunately, it didn't go our way. And, you know, when a team scores uh, against you, it's 2 1, it's always going to be uh, very difficult. How do you keep your composure back there when you know that the balls are just coming in and that you're under the pump and that Rockdale were playing for their lives? Yeah, well for me, it's just uh, communications. You know, I'm not always going to be in the game. Uh, so, you know, by talking to the boys and making sure they're doing a good job, it's, uh, it makes my job a bit easier. <laughs> you made a big save there at the end, that one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. uh, what's the secret? Oh, I just tried to get as close as I could and make myself as big as I could. And you've come into this final series as probably one of the form teams of the competition. Just how far can these boys go? You know, I think we can uh, go close to the grand final. You know, it's, uh, it's only a very young team. Um, you know, we, we, like you said, we, we're on the improve and, uh, you know, semi-finals football, anything can happen. Well done, mate. Thank you. At 3pm last Sunday, they were dreaming of their first ever premiership, but by 8pm, that dream had turned into a nightmare. The seven-goal drubbing at the hands of their local rivals and the title ripped from their grasp by Bonnie Rick. The Spartans' hopes went up in flames. The Spartans face Blacktown City yet again. Is seven days enough to mend the heartbreak? Can they prove the doubters wrong and get back to the form they showed for most of the season? Or will Blacktown City continue to hold local bragging rights? Let's go to Blacktown Football Park now for all the action. Saliadare clears. Just gets caught up in the wind though. Not as far as he had hoped. Well, Major does well. Shrugs off a defender. Major! Oh, it's come off the post. Big chance for Blacktown City FC. Evans now. Has two with him. Now the Spartans can break. Nice touch from Long. Here's Condek. Does well. Links up with Bixo. Bixo again. Doesn't have a lot in front of him. Forced to go back. Austin with it. Oh, he's going to try it from some range. And just wide of the target. So it's nil-nil, it wasn't the case this time last weekend. Spartans can take confidence from that for the moment. Thought it was a free kick in back play, but we play on. Evans just switches things. Nice control. And there is a free kick now, though. It'll go to the Spartans. It's going to be Kondek to send it in. Well, Jukic is there. Oh, and he wasn't too far away. Spartans know the chance they let slip. They want to make amends here this afternoon. 
Tuxford sends it long. That's a great ball. Switches things from defence to attack. Good control. Major. He's Malia. It's 1-0. Blacktown City FC have the opening goal. And just as I said, the Spartans were in control. One swoop. Blacktown City FC have changed things. Credit the long ball from Tuxford. Major showed great control. But the run from Malia was smart. Just stole in front of his defender. He only needed half a chance and tucked it past Sally Adare. He got three last week. He's on the score sheet yet again. So Millgate with it now for the Spartans. He's going to send it long. In search of that man, Mitchell Long. Oh, he's done well, Long. Oh, has he found an equaliser? Almost. Vekic made a great save. It was destined for the back of the net. Thought they could have won a free kick there, the Spartans. We play on, though. Miller does well. As I say that, turns it over. The old commentator's curse. Miyazawa links up well. Malia, good ball from him. Major, it should be two, it is! Lovely team goal from Blacktown City FC. And Travis Major makes it two. Great ball from Malia. Again, you've got to ask questions about the defending. Major tucks it away this time. And Blacktown City FC lead by two goals to nil. And the Spartans are up against it all of a sudden. Can they find a third goal? I don't think we'll see seven like we saw last week. But they are in control. Here is Bacchus. He sends it in. Major. Control's a little bit sloppy, but he does well. Oh, it's opened up again. It is three. Matthew Lewis, the man that tucks it home. And the pain continues for the Spartans. They just can't quite handle Blacktown City FC at the moment. And the floodgates could yet open here at Blacktown Football Park. Lovely finish from Lewis. Not an easy ball to hit. Sally Adare yet again picks it out of the net. The Spartans know they need something. Still got about this half an hour left in this game. The Spartans are shell-shocked. Oh, he's turned it over. It's been the story of the day for the Spartans. Here's Lewis. Wants a second goal. Cuts it back. Nice little bit of football from Blacktown City FC. Major cuts it across. Saliadare forced to make the save. The corner for Blacktown City FC. Backers takes it short. Lewis sends it in. Oh, the header's there. Major can cross as well. Could have almost been a fourth. Saliadare sends it long. It's route one at the moment. The Spartans know there's hardly any time left. Backers. Miyazawa. Turned it over though. Evans tries to beat a couple. He gets a free kick though for his efforts. So ought to take. Oh, it's deflected. Don't know that Vekic knew too much about it. So can they find a fourth? Miyazawa links up with Choi. Major. Couldn't quite get it back. The Spartans have it now. Can they find some consolation late? That's a good ball. Opens things up. They haven't stopped trying the Spartans. Can they get a goal for their efforts? Oh, and they probably should have. As Kondek couldn't quite direct it on goal. Shows what they can do when they do string it together, though, the Spartans. And that is full time at Blacktown Football Park. It may not be quite as convincing as seven days ago, but it's still a win all the same. It finished. Blacktown City FC 3, the Blacktown Spartans nil. Blacktown City coach uh, Mark Crittenden. Mark, you must be happy with today's result. Um, two games against Blacktown Spartans and 10 goals. Yeah, very happy, mate. Uh, look, last week was super. I mean, they gave us no credit for last week. I mean, they thought it was all their poor performance, but I thought we were really, really good last week and uh, yet again today, very good again today. Uh, probably could have scored three or four in the first you know, 15 minutes. Uh, so we made sure that we stayed patient. We knew if we stayed patient, we'd score and, uh, and go on and win it. 
was it a different mentality going into today's into today's game because um I mean, had such a great result last week um they were probably more um more positive and, and so forth. Yeah, oh, look, we knew they'd probably make some changes, which they did, and we expected that. But no, look, we just wanted to go about our own game. You know, we're all about just doing what we do best, and that's playing football. Next week, yeah, Bonnie Rigwadi Eagles, a very difficult opponent, always. Yeah, a very good side, mate. They're, they're, they're quality. Uh, they've got quality all around the park. Obviously, a good coaching staff with Bomber and Cliffy have been, been there, done that many times. So, look, we'll just go there and we'll, we'll, we'll prepare ourselves for a Bonnie Rig side and, and, and do our best. Anything different in preparation this week for Bonnie Rig? Oh, a little bit. I mean, they're two different sides. You know, I mean, uh, they're, they're quite a youngish sort of a side, and, and uh, we, you know, we, we think we've got their measure. And obviously, Bombers' side are very experienced and, and, and very good football side. So, yeah, a little bit, little bit different. All right. All the best next week. Thanks for joining us. Thanks Thank very you. much. Carlos, I guess a loss is a loss. You must still be disappointed, even though last week you had a loss by seven, this week only by three, but still disappointed to lose. Yeah, absolutely. Still disappointed to lose. I mean, we put last week in the past, and I thought today we were a lot better. Uh, just a couple of lapses in concentration, and you know, it cost us in the end. So a few minutes in the second half, you basically um, considered two goals. What happened there? Yeah, just basically switched off defensively. They caught us on the counter, uh, not too dissimilar from the first goal. Um, like I said, we just fell asleep, and they hit us on the counter pretty hard, and that was all she wrote. Next week, you have Sydney Olympic, who held off um, a determined Rockdale last night. Um, how do you see that game going next week? Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. Um, you know, we've had, I think, a win apiece um, this year, and they've, all, they've both been tight games. So we know it's going to be, um, it's going to be another battle, um, and we've got to get up for it. I uh, know we're thin on troops at the moment um, with Bisco, Corey going down. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll find the way um, and hopefully, you know, we put a good account of for ourselves. And just finally, what's the mood like in the dressing room after today's loss and last week's loss combined? Uh, really after last week, it was pretty, it was pretty bad. Um, but after today's loss, I mean, we've just got to let it go and move on. I mean, we've got one game to save the season, so um, that's all we've got to focus on. That's all we can do is um, show up next week and, you know, and, and get the win. All the best against Sydney Olympic next week in the elimination match. Thank you. <laughs> Well, looking ahead to next weekend, and there's another two finals games. The first on Saturday night as the Blacktown Spartans take on Sydney Olympic. It's do or die again for Olympic, and the Spartans' season continues to spiral. They had the premiership in their hands just a week ago, and now they're staring elimination in the face. Whilst on Sunday afternoon, Bonnie Rig take on Blacktown City FC, with both sides competing to be the first team into the grand final on September 14. Two blockbuster semi-finals, the only place you'll see it is here on Football New South Wales TV. For all the latest information concerning the National Premier League's New South Wales Men's 1, including all the finals news, head to the website nplnewsouthwales.com.au. Join us next time for all the finals action. I'm Anna Senarossa. See you then.